No, I haven't. Yeah, it might have been him. He, you know, he was probably working for the CIA then. He probably knew what was going on. But um, yeah, oil is a, a, another big uh, influence, right? Shadow, shadow, uh, deep state influence. Uh, the the oil industry gets its way, along with the CIA, along with the Council on Foreign Relations. I think this is the deep state. And I guess what you're saying is the challenge is to have uh, some control over that, right? I think so. I mean, you know, the oil companies are the biggest, you know, money makers out there of the, any type of corporation or business in the world. And I think they have a lot of feedback with our government. I think they also put a lot of money in when whoever they want to be president. I think they invest a lot into it in a lot of ways. Uh, I'm not knocking Bush, either Bush as president, but... I do feel that, again, what gave us the right to go into the Middle East? And I just look at the servicemen. It, it died or came back crippled or main or whatever. And when you oh. think about it, you think about why did they go there? And it was only one thing that keeps them popping in my mind, oil. Because they certainly lied yeah. about the reason why we went there. Yes, yes, I think that's true. And uh, it's like the the neocons, they want... uh uh political control everywhere. They think America has a right to go everywhere and control everything. And I think it might also be, and uh, uh, they want to protect Israel. Israel has a lot of uh, influence over the government, and so they want to uh, uh, protect that area for Israel. And I'm not an anti-Semite, uh, but I think I, I'm allowed to uh, criticize you know, the actions of uh, Israel without being labeled an anti-Semite. But it's for the oil there and to protect Israel, I think. I think you just hit it on the nail head. And that's what, you know, has got me scared. Even, uh, you know, like what I'm concerned, I know that it sounds like you're a, a Trump uh, fan. Yeah. I voted yeah. I voted for Trump. The, the one thing oh. I don't like what's going on politically right now, the tariffs. The tariffs. Oh, oh. Well, if you really think about it, if we get a deal ever signed this year with the Chinese, the amount of money it has cost us as a consumer with these tariffs has been enormous. The companies we have put out of business because of the tariffs is a lot. The, oh. the jobs that we have, I'm going to be honest with you, a lot of them are, we don't manufacture anything in our own country anymore. It's pretty much a service oriented country. I mean, you got fast food workers, you got people, you know, uh, doing what computer service, you got people in the service industry, but we yeah. don't have anything. We, we don't make toasters. We don't make irons. The last TV company, I didn't even know. I thought it was 20 years ago, Curtis Matthews, when they bought the dust. I thought that was the last company that made TVs in the United States. No, back yeah. in Georgia, there was a company still making TVs. That went out of business here a couple months ago because of the tariffs. They just, it wasn't oh, profitable. Well, as I understand, I think manufacturing jobs are coming back. And, and uh, because Trump, um, you know, he's, he's not controlled by the big corporations that they want to have free trade agreements in which allows the corporations to go overseas and pay their, pay their workers um, less. And so he's making the free trade agreements in a way that... Um, that manufacturing is coming back. That's what I heard. You know, unemployment is the best it's ever been, and the economy is the best it's ever been. So I don't, uh, maybe, I don't know about the tariffs, but I, it seems to me that Trump is doing the right thing. He's bringing jobs back, and he's improving the economy because he's not controlled by the big corporations that want to uh, let their, let, uh, want their corporations to move overseas where they can pay their workers less, because NAFTA, I think, was a bad thing. And so that's how I understand it. Well, you know what you're saying, I would say is about 80 percent true. I, it, oh, yeah. it's just, it, I just think there's a little thing that the tariffs have hurt us financially. Mm -hmm. it, it has, because if you really think about how much you if you go out and buy consumer goods, if you haven't noticed, the prices have been going up. And that's because the manufacturers or the distributors or whoever is bringing it over is paying more for it. Now, you know, we're starting to have to pay for it. You go to Walmart, you're paying a little bit more for that TV than you did last year. It's because of the tariffs. So it is affecting, it is affecting me and you. And you only notice it at the end of the year when you, you sit back and you figure, hey, I made this amount of money. But boy, where did it all go? Oh, oh yeah. 
But as I understand it also that, um, you know, China was kicking our butt and uh, Trump is uh, he's dealing with China in a way that the free trade agreements aren't ripping us off. And uh, whereas other, I think all other presidents, if you're a conspiracy theorist, you believe they're put in there by the deep state, which is big corporate power that just wants the corporations to get richer and they don't care about the poor. And so Trump is uh, rearranging the uh, the trade agreements with China in a way that China w- was kicking our ass before they were they were making much much more money off of us than we were making off of them. So he's fixing that, I think. You know, I think everything you hear about Trump in the media might I don't know if you could trust it because I heard 90% of the journalists are uh, leftists and liberals. So uh, everything you hear is is critical, but I think he's doing a lot of good things. Well, I, I'm not saying he didn't. I, I do know China is really bad. Is that yeah, they yeah. counterfeit everything, and they th- they unless uh, 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 something major happens, their government won't do anything to stop it. They just turn their heads. But you know, years ago, like Microsoft, when they were selling Windows, well, I can't remember Windows ninety eight, for example. This yeah. is going back years ago. Th- th- this country was flooded with counterfeit. Windows 98 operating systems. Massive, you know. I used to own... From China? From China. I used to own a computer manufacturing company, and I ended up having to close it and laying off a bunch of people because I couldn't compete with the Chinese because they could produce everything way cheaper, and a lot of the stuff was garbage. And, and, And they're really good. If you have a patent, they don't care. They'll just duplicate it, and they'll steal it. And that's what happens, and that's what has been going on. So even if you like your book, for example, you wouldn't feel good all of a sudden some distributor in the United States is selling your book out for half your price. And the yeah, reason yeah. why they, they're selling your book out for half the price is because they got it for $2 a copy from some bootlegger from China. Yeah. And that's how bad China is. Yeah, they're, they're real cheaters, aren't they? They really are... Uh, uh, the, I don't know, maybe it's the legacy of Mao Zedong, what he killed, killed off 50 million of its old people. The Chinese government is just brutal, and they want to go everywhere and uh, they steal patents, like you say, and just operate in a way that makes themselves richer and, and screws everybody else. And so that's why I think Trump is, uh, is really fighting against that, and they had a bad year this year. So I think Trump might be doing good in fighting this this evil force that is china well we gotta stop the bootlegging i mean it, it is hard for american companies to compete let's face it if, if somebody can go out and buy a bootleg copy I, again i i know somebody used to own a car stereo store they sold car stereos and speakers and they were buy. they knew they were buying bootleg stuff but they were buying like knockoffs of pioneer speakers and they got away with it because they would sit there and misspell the word pioneer and hoping that the customs wouldn't catch it. But here they were producing junk. It didn't sound good, but people would look at the box. Oh, those are pioneer speakers. They're $29 for a a set. When the American set was like $149. Well, you know who it was hurting? It was hurting the pioneer, you know, of America because they're competing with Chinese stuff that are again, counterfeit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and the conspiracy theories believe that you know they, they want that believe that uh, the elites and the rich of the world want to have a one-world government, a big brother fascist totalitarian government. So I think maybe the deep state, the super rich guys who run the world, they support China because they want China to spread and take over the world. I think I, that's a conspiracy theory. I don't know if you agree with that. You know what I'm saying? I, the the elites of the world want a big brother government, and if they can get some evil acting uh, government like China to basically take over the world and they'll back them up and hopefully get the big brother. I think that's a conspiracy theory, but I think there's something to it. Well, what scares me in the next couple of years, the Chinese economy is going to surpass ours. And that is when we have to worry about, you know, China, everybody thinks, oh, they'll make all this cheap junk, right? Look what mm. they're doing with their military. Look what they're doing with their Navy and the Air Force. They're building up, and they're building up for a reason. It isn't because they just want to oh, have yeah. all these aircraft carriers or these submarines or destroyers. 
There's a reason behind it. And eventually... You think they want to take over the world? <laughs> I think that they want to be uh, dominate the world. Yeah. How's that? Yeah, yeah, I know. And uh, again, uh, I don't know. I, I think maybe Trump is doing something about that. That's what I think. They're having a bad year. And to, to a conspiracy theorist, it's because Trump isn't part of the deep state. He wasn't put into the White House uh, by the big business that wants to control the world. And so I hope that we... Uh, uh, um, elect more guys like Trump who aren't professional politicians and aren't going to be controlled by the corporate power that supports uh, governments like China. Well, you know, there's a cure to it. They put a term for senators and congressmen, and I think they should put a two-term uh, policy where you can't be a, a senator for the t- you know from 30 years old to 90 years old or till you die. I think, oh, yeah. it, or a congressman that's been a congressman for 20, 30 years. I, I think that it, it should be every so many years, uh, they, they should be, how can I say it? It's like a president, two terms. And, oh, yeah, yeah. and that way we get people in, because what happens is these people get in there, they don't think about you or me or, you know, it's like yeah. I said, it's ludicrous right now what's going on with the Republicans and the Democrats. They're acting like children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, okay. it, and it should is there be a term limits for senators. Is there? Uh, uh, no, there, you can be a uh, senator uh, as long as you get reelected. You can be in there to your ninety some years old, and there uh, is some in there right now at ninety some ninety some years old. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because they get used to the corruption. Maybe yeah, you're right. And uh, yeah, I think I agree. They should have term limits for those. Oh yeah, that's if you want to, you know, see our economy improve, our uh, government improve. Because, you know, if they know they're only going to be there for a certain amount of time, they're not going to be, I hate to say it, they're not going to get corrupt. I, I've got a funny feeling, and I'm going to get people mad at me, but a lot of politicians are corrupt. They can't help it. Anybody would be. If you're there for 20, 30 years, you yeah. don't, you, you forget about what you're there for. So yeah, yeah. You're, you're making decisions not for you, the people who put you in your office. You're making the decisions on your own. Yeah, yeah. Do you think Joe Biden is big time corrupt in your opinion? I I wouldn't vote for him. How's that? All right, all right. I'm wondering, you know, this you know, this is the news now. If he really did some shady things with his son there, you know, uh, I I got a feeling he did, you know. So I, the whole problem is everybody in politics. Okay, they oh, can yeah, yeah. they can dig up dirt, including Trump. Okay, I know Trump is not been probably yeah. the most honest person in the world either i mean if you if it, anybody's going to try digging up and that's the problem when you hold a government office people will you know try to dig up as much garbage on you as you can yeah 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 and it's like an accepted way to do things there you know biden was a politician for a long time he said you know a big deal if my son gets a job there and maybe that i can help him you know it's the way my my uncle was actually a New York City policeman, and when he, he was an honest guy, but when he got in there, he, he immediately got on the take because that's what they did, you know. Even though he was a good guy, so this is the way politicians are, unfortunately, right? It's just the way things are done. Then, but I think, yeah, I think Trump did shady things as a businessman. I haven't seen anything shady as a politician yet, but hopefully, you won't. I don't know. Well, th- th- that I'm kind of concerned on one thing with Trump. He's the only president has never let his tax returns be public oh yeah and yeah, that has uh, me concerned because they also you know another judge today uh turned down appeal on uh trump because his attorneys were appealing about his information from new york tax return be- being turned over to congress well another judge said today that it must be turned over to congress oh yeah yeah well that's again that's maybe shady things he did when he was a businessman. I think he did some questionable things. But so far, as a politician, I think, in my opinion, he's uh, serving the people, uh, hopefully. But as a businessman, I think he did some shady things. Why don't you think he's uh, releasing his tax returns? I think he has. uh, What I have done a lot of research on Trump, what he did, if you go back to his father, and in fact, we're going to go on break and I'll tell you my view, and you can tell me your view 
uh, All right. after this. We'll be back in three and a half minutes, so if you want to get a cup of Jabba or whatever, uh, we'll be back. You're listening to Douglas. He wrote a great... 